conditions. Babysitting is hell. Come on, honey. Your great granddad isn't scary, said Max, King of Vampires, to his little princess of vampires, Astri. Yeah, Malcolm knocked on his home door. The Grim Reaper answered. Hi, Astra. Hi, Max. Hi, Astri. Come in, said the Reaper. Hi, Blake. You're looking a bit thin today. Don't Max seem his friend? Ha, ha. Said Blake humorously as they went inside the house. Is Angela at home? asked Max. Angela was Blake's wife. No, she's shopping for clothes, or shoes, or whatever women shop for, said Blake, awkwardly. And I said, Blake's granddaughter, Astra. Thanks for looking after Astra, Blake, Max said to his best friend. When will you be back from the vampire convention, said Blake. Good night, said Astra. Now, Astri, you be good for great granddad. He's really old, said Max to Astri, hugging her. Thanks a lot, Max, said Blake, who was a bit touchy about his age. He was 1,000 years old last year, but he didn't look it, usually. Go by the luggage your convention. She'll be fine, Blake joked. Thanks, Blake. Come on, Astra. We can't be late. We're running the convention, said Max. Here's her food bag, said Astra, handing over a bag of blood, marked AB negative. Blake felt sick. Negative? Is she on a diet? Blake said, thinking it must be a form of blood-like sugarless drink for vampires. Yes, positive is red cordial for young vampires, said Max. Oh, said Blake. Astri and Blake bidded goodbye to his, her parents. Blake took her to his office in his backyard. sat playing vampires and victims with her dolls in the corner of his office quietly. Blake watched her, thinking she was so cute. In the office stormed another grim reaper with a pile of paperwork. Blake moaned. He dropped the pile on her blood bag, which burst. Blake moaned again. Astri began crying. The other reaper was livid. He walked over to Astri, picking her up by the arm, wildly. And what is this? said the angry reaper. It smelled like a vampire. She screamed in terror. It's my great granddaughter. Let her go, you psycho from hell said Blake, trying to get her from the angry reaper. He promptly dropped her. What is she doing in the afterlife? You know vampires aren't allowed here. How did the angry reaper? I'm babysitting her, Dante, said Blake. You've ruined those papers. You shouldn't have had her here. Said Dante, Blake's assistant. I don't care about that, said Blake. I have to feed her. You ruined her food. I'm hungry, Astri said. Later, I don't care what you say. A coroner does not have an emergency that needs blood, said Blake. Please, favourite person, Jack Taylor. He was minding the blood bank. At the hospital, Blake and Dante worked as coroner and assistant coroner. I do, said Blake, the coroner. Go away, 
Jack said. Plague. Wandered off with Dante and Astri. Some time later in the morgue. Positive, Blake said. Another positive, Dante said. We got a negative here, said Blake. But it's an O. Positive, Dante said. Negative and it's AB. We have a donor, said Blake. They drained a quart of blood from the corpse and fed it to Astri. And took Astri home to Blake's house. When Astra and Max came to pick her up, they were surprised to see Blake and Astri were all right, and Blake had two more bags of blood for her to take home with her.